Hello, everyone. We are excited to announce updates that we have made to Capsum Core, Capsum Ops, Capsum Global, and Capstone 2.0, which is a new grading method called Success Measures. Now, you may be asking, why did we work on a feature like this? Ultimately, our goal is to provide our users the tools they need so they can customize their simulation to meet their expectations. Success Measures has been a popular grading method for years in other simulations, so allowing this type of customization in our newer products made sense. If you wanna set something up like this in your upcoming course, you can do so by clicking on the Administration tab from the left-hand navigation bar and choosing Course Settings. Within here, you'll have a new section called Primary Scoring Method. Right now, I'm in my Capsum Global Simulation, so I can choose between the Balance Scorecard or Success Measures. This decision will trigger which scoring method displays not only on my dashboard, but the participant dashboard and their gradebook. Users can select their success measures by going to the success measures administration tab. And below you'll see the metrics that are included within the success measures. We have profit, ROS, ROE, ROA, market share, stock price, asset turnover, and market cap. If you'd like to learn more about each of these metrics, how they're calculated, what's an average range, you can click on these informational bubbles, which will just give you a little bit more of a deeper dive. Aside from the metrics themselves, you can choose which ones you want active or inactive, the measure, so we have cumulative, ending, or average, and then the weight applied to that metric. So this is a percentage base. In this simulation that I'm using right now, you'll notice I have ROS, ROE, ROA, and asset turnover turned off. So I'm gonna primarily grade or assess my participants with profit, market share, stock price, and market cap. Additionally, if administrators want to weight their industry as a whole, they can do so right now with the current layout that I have. If they wanna do it custom per team or industry, they can choose from this drop down here or they even have the option to have their participants set weights where they can select measures based on their strategies. On the student dashboard, if success measures is the primary scoring method, students can see their results on the bottom of their dashboard here. They can see which metrics are being measured, the score they received for that metric, and a more detailed breakdown of the calculations from the details tab here just giving me a better understanding on why did I receive the score that is displaying. This information will also be reflected within the participant gradebook, especially if you're utilizing success measures as your primary scoring. On the professor side, you can access scores by going to the success measures results page. And on this page, you'll see a breakdown of each team score, the metrics that are activated. So anything that's a dash is signifying that there is no weight applied to the specific metric. And then similar to the participant side, a modal that highlights the total score. So clicking on the total score here is gonna give me that breakdown that I just noticed on the participant side of how were these scores actually calculated. We're super excited to share these updates with you as our products continue to grow. We understand that providing you with a custom experience allows you to find structure that fits your needs. If you'd like to learn more about success measures and its capabilities, then please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at capsum.com. At that, I hope this feature improves your experience and we do look forward to hearing your feedback.